So I am going to be doing Yunjin's hangout quest. Yesterday was kind of a mess because I randomly felt like streaming and just went for it and it was kind of messed up. I was really stressed out during the whole thing. I was in a hurry. I wasn't paying attention to the story at all. I was just talking to people and talking over Ningguang during her hangout quest, which was not okay. And though I did have fun making that stream, it was a mess. The recording equipment was a mess. The whole setup was just terrible and no one really liked it. So, I am still going to post that to YouTube, but I am going to make the disclaimer that, like, my setup's really janky in this one, and that I was trying something new with having someone on stream, and it was kind of a mess because I didn't know what I was doing, but today, I'm just here alone, I'm doing exactly what I've always been doing from the start, so that way nothing can catch me off guard, and nothing is going to make it so, uh, this stream gets messed up like last time where having someone on kind of messed me up, and then when they left, it messed me up even more. Now, it's all normal, and there's nothing here that can possibly mess me up today, which is great. So let us continue. Engines haven't done this yet. Beginning, hang out a song that knows grace. I always want to say a song that knows no grace. I also reassured myself to just make the jokes I want to, and like, not restrict myself just for my audience, because I want to make my audience a group of people that like, actually like me as a person and not the person I project onto the world, so I'm gonna try to be more myself. Try, keyboard. But we're gonna create a team that's centered around Yunjin. Um, oh! <laughs> While doing that, sharing time. So I spent $100 off stream to try and get my C5 Yunjin. My Yunjin, I didn't get a single Yunjin in all of that. My Yunjin is still C1. You want to know what happened? <laughs> you want to know? Well, I'll tell you. I can just get the traveler. <laughs> this world is full of unsolved mysteries. Hmm. No, she's a pain. I'll probably. Healer. I'll take care of it. You know what else happened? While spending all that money just to get a single <laughs> union and not getting a single union and all of those pearls and all those pulls. You wanna know who I did get? Uh I would show you if I switched to the right team like a smart person, but I didn't. You want to know who I did get in all those pulls? Another Shenhe. What is this? What is what is this? Transfiguration. Transfiguration. That should not be there. Take this. You can't tell I am a little upset. <laughs> but it's fine. We're just gonna move on. After the hangout quest, I might explore Inkonomiya because I still need to explore that a lot. Because I have, like, done nothing in there. It's been so long since I've just gone to Inkonomiya and explored, and it's so pretty there. Fighting that fish trap so many times just to get Shenhua to little lady has kind of ruined it for me, but I'm sure it will be fine. Um... I have not been spoiled for Yunjin's quest at all. I know nothing about what's going to happen. Uh, I already did Ningguang's hangout quest. If you want to see it, you can go to the streams in the past. My last stream, I did most of Ningguang's hangout quest. I didn't do two rewards. One, because I accidentally did one beforehand. And the second one I didn't do was because in the middle of the night at 1am, I started getting really anxious and feeling like I couldn't breathe, and I decided to... And yes. the stream kind of abruptly, which was kind of a mess. Yesterday was just a whole mess. Everything was a mess. There wasn't a single thing about that that wasn't a mess where I messed up. It was kind of ruined. It basically just turned into me talking to myself and apologizing for how bad things were going. I'm going to try not to do that today. I also need to learn to stop apologizing so much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but today is hopefully not going to be as much of a mess. Hopefully, because I'm recording it early in the day, like a smart person. <laughs> Other thing. <laughs> Yunjin time. Yunjin is one of my favorite characters. Um, ooh, like just the best. I'm so excited. I, I don't know anything about what's going to happen in this quest. No idea at all. So I'm really excited. Ning Wong's was really interesting. It talked about her like problems and about... I mean, it was kind of a little weird because it talked about rich people having problems with having money. Let's not get into it. <laughs> it's fun time. <laughs> it's the gay one time. I... Myself, I'm very queer, so I always have these, like, lingering theories of, like, everyone in Genshin Impact is also queer. <laughs> Just because I'm queer. <laughs> we love that. Can't you send someone any sooner? The clock is ticking, and I need this result ASAP. I'm sorry, but we don't have any adventurers available at this instant. What's happened? <sighs> Your timing is most optimal. Allow me to introduce that was you, so Ning. Robotic. Manager of the Yunhan Opera Troupe. She has commissioned the guild to. Ah. Traveler? Ugh, Yunjin is always talking about you. Please, you've got to help us find her. Uh. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just part of the dialogue is missing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna look at my own stream and check the audio for a second to make sure it's okay. Yep, she's gone and disappeared. Okay. Now of all times, just days away from the big performance. All she left was a short note. Everything is fine. I will check back later to make sure that it still going however for now i'm just gonna leave it there's some discussion about the divine maiden play with my friends there's so much to learn indeed i've gone to linger your past in hopes of gaining some inspiration i will return within a day so do not worry yunjin if our audience doesn't get to see yunjin on stage they'll start tearing the place down I mean, what am I supposed to do, huh? She literally said she would come That's back. what I said too, but... Look, when you're a megastar like Yunjin, you gotta start taking things a little more seriously. Saying she'll be back doesn't give me a whole lot of reassurance when she's showing no regard for her own safety. Why does she have to go and practice somewhere so dangerous? What if something happens to her? What am I going to tell the audience? Well then, what if she gets into a scrape and hurts herself? If she gets so much as a scratch, it'll be a loss to the whole nation. <sighs> as you can see, this is what we're up against. A crazy person. Would you be willing to accept this commission? Sorry, I shouldn't call people that. Uh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank the stars. Please, you've got to bring her back safe and sound. Definitely. I'm not just going to hang out with her and also just vibe <laughs> for no reason. No way.
Second times. Okay. Oh, you're killing things! How entertaining. How fun. True form. Lightning slash. Flag slash. And step. Thunder clap. Strike is one. Okay. Good combo. Good combo. Watch the costume. I just lost Flag all fly. the energy I was getting. Take your true form! Cryo incarnate! Lightning flash! Stay in character! Transfiguration. Huh? I'll protect her. Flags up and step. Transfiguration by ordinance divine. Quite a bit of gems that are just gonna be floating around me for a while. Are you alright? Are you hurt? It's you. Yeah. I do apologize. I didn't see you there. Uh seriously? What brings you all the way up here? Oddly enough, I was just thinking of scheduling a meeting with you later. That I didn't expect to run into you here sense. of all places. I heard you went missing? Ah, oh, I see. So Yunning sent you. I did tell her not to worry. Oh, but on this occasion, it seems I'm rather lucky you came. You've helped me avert a major catastrophe. Uh -huh. It's a pity, though. I was so close to achieving the state of mind that Shenhe was talking about. Do you remember what Shenhe said about the Divine Damsel fighting against the evil monster? That in reality, she hadn't acted as courageously as the operatic rendition would have you believe. That it was simply a matter of life and death, and she chose self-preservation. Granted, she later admitted that she preferred the version of events given in the opera, with its portrayal of a divine heroine sacrificing herself for others. But after giving it a lot of consideration, I think that this character is defined by of her course. emotional complexity, and even uncertainty. So the more emotions I can experience for myself, the wider range I will have to draw on in my performance. If access to mm -hmm. a different state of mind can help me provide a fresh interpretation of the character and her actions, well, surely it will take my acting skills to the next level. That's why I came here. Mm -hmm. My plan was to take it slowly, start by just dipping my toe in, as it were. But once I started, I just got completely drawn in. <laughs> that makes I feel a lot like of sense. I was so close to a breakthrough here. Ooh. So considering the rewards that I could reap from this experience, the risk is negligible. Sure. Still, if I choose to continue, this is unlikely to be the last time I'd need your help. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I suppose I had better return mm. to Li Yue Harbor for mm -hmm. now. I'll only end up putting you in an awkward position otherwise. Goodness knows how you'd explain this to Yunning. I wonder whether I have gained anything useful hmm. from this trip. Hmm. I suppose only time will tell. Did I ruin it? No, not yet. Okay, it's good. I'm scared I did. 
I'm, sc I'm sad that the last strike doesn't do any electro damage like the other last strikes in the other two elements did. That'd be so cool. How is uh, their energy recharge doing? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Could be better, could be better. This is a good weapon to level up by the time this is open today. No. <laughs> about this. I think these are Monday and Friday materials, so oh, Monday and Thursday. No, I never thought I still yes they are. Um this for the little recipe. Yes. I could level that up for Shelkur. Oh goodness me. I'm like it's a Hutao weapon and you have Hutao. Look, I want to make Shenhua DPS and the only other weapon I have. Oh I got Dragon Bit. I forgot about that. I'll refine it. Does not work with her, but I might just use it for her just because of how good it looks. <laughs> like, it would do nothing. It would make her really terrible. But I don't care just because of how funny it would be. <laughs> I need to stop. This has to stop. <laughs> Why does this weapon look so pretty with her? Why does this one too? Why do only the bad weapons look good with her? <laughs> This weapon looks good, but it doesn't look great. This weapon looks okay. I guess the blue matches the blue over here, but that's about it. And the gold, but still. Enough about my tangent. <laughs> Let us continue. <laughs> well, I want to kill things. Sorry. No apologize. My thing that I can do what I want. Let me get myself a pep talk over here. <laughs> Oh my. Hey. Um. Take this. And leap. You're open. Take your true form. Take this. Yeah. Also need to get my Take this. Yeah. Out, like out how like you're like at a place this is so you don't need to pop in but thank you <laughs> for stopping in I'm playing Yunjin's hangout quest because yesterday was kind of a mess for me you're in the middle of a store <laughs> I will have order <laughs> Imagine! Oh, do, do you like do you like my uh, various C1 Shenhua and my not C5 Yunjin? <laughs> I'll be streaming for at least an hour because I also plan on going and exploring Uncle Nomi after this. So let's be a. That means to stop. <laughs> oh my, my throat. Okay. I should be doing homework, but I don't like to. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for Monday. Is it Monday? Is Monday Monday? Is it? No, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, it is, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> I'm having a mix up. Okay, three days. Mm -hmm. It is Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday at around six is when these banners are ending. The update. M oh, oh wait, does the event come out like? an hour beforehand because I will be on that. <laughs> I, 
I don't think you understand. Wait, this requires further research. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> okay, very important, very important events happening right now. Very, very important. Uh, yes, very important. Uh, <laughs> need to make sure that my stream's still going strong. Oh, my waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Yes, the stream's still going. Let's go. Uh. Oh, it's taking a I can't. I would look on the. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm just looking to see when the lantern ride event is starting because I forgot. So. <laughs> but after, I'll continue with Yunjin's hangout quest. Um. Hope the echo isn't as bad as last time, but it probably is. Ah, <sighs> yes. I shall spare myself the hair and makeup routine today, and happily idle my time away. There's a stupid event. Why is the lantern end events are defined? Okay. Did they even post about it? They should have. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. No, they have not. That surprises me. Oh, my waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Where is it? Where's the event, not the update? No. Is it on Twitch? Oh, it's on Hoyo Lab. Google. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is so chaotic. <laughs> okay. What time, what day? <laughs> ah, yes. I shall spare myself the hair and makeup routine today, and happily idle my time away. This is on the 25th. Not what time? Not the o'clock. I mean that. New. How is it not on Genshin's Twitter? It's weird. A lot of stuff happened on the other two. The 11th, so in place.
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking my lovely time to figure out what's happening. I get a lovely batch of specifics, please. Oh, my waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Okay, when tries, tomorrow is the studying potions. Okay, okay. More, please. Uh huh. It's not okay. Well, I'm just gonna try that. Oh, I found it. Ha ha. Ten. 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 Got it. Monday, after school, I'm going to rush my ass to complete that event as fast as possible and get as many primo gems on the first day just so I have a chance of getting Yunjin before the banners come out. <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ready. Let's go. To Yunjin's. <laughs> Sorry for that huge pause. <laughs> oh, we can do that. We can do the double speed. We can do that. <laughs> Unleash. <laughs> when you get the C1 of an event banner five star, you do more. more adventurers on the case or something. The clock's still ticking away. Please have faith in her. Ah, they've returned. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy? Uh, no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out exploring. That's fine. But do you really have to go off thrill seeking this close to the show? You have oh, to take better care though. of yourself, okay? For all our sakes. Can you not pressure the child into focusing audience. on you and not We're herself? We're lucky we had the traveler to help out. What if something had happened to you, huh? What would I say to our audience, hmm? Well, I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Don't you agree? While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, anything I can do to improve my acting ability, even the slightest amount, I can't pass up the opportunity. You know, you, you, duh, I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. So, what's your honest opinion? You made a good point, Yunjin. Actually, should I go with the one I don't agree with? Sadly, and I hate to break it to you, but I'm going to go with the one I don't like so that I can get the best ending last so I don't leave this off with a bad ending that I don't want. Exactly, exactly. Just so sorry, Yunjin, you're great. I wish I could choose the other answer, but I want to get the best ending last. Why do you make it sound like they are coming to see me and not the show? Well, same difference, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. They seem quite different to me. <laughs> well, either way, you're quite right. I mustn't let down our audience. Especially those who came from afar. And mm. I certainly mustn't make you come out looking for me again. Oh, I so feel bad. I, I hate this. I, I hate this ending so I... much. Whew, I'm glad but I need the primos for you, Jin. is finally gonna start listening to reason. <sighs> I'm gonna head back and see how the set is coming along. Don't Yunjin. go disappearing on me again. Go disappear on her again. Alright. I'll head back and do some rehearsing. No, don't no cooperate. substitute for first-hand experience, but it should still help me iron out a few issues. <laughs> Speaking of which, I haven't even thanked you properly for saving me. No worries, Dusty. If you're Dusty. free after the show, come and find me at Hayu Tea House. 
Hopefully you heard that because for some reason the text does not want to appear on the on the thing today. <laughs> Quite the issue. Look at how pretty he is though. Twenty to twenty-three. That's a late. Ooh, almost perfect timing. Oh, the next day. Quite late there. Oh, I don't vibe with that. No, no. It's only 11 minutes late, but it still sets me off. Okay. Yes, I shall spare myself the hair. And I don't know where Hey UT House is located or what it looks like, so this is gonna be good for us to know where to go when we want to summon for Yunjin. Wait, is Hey UT House really? Is Hey UT House really where that stage is? No way! Did we all guess it right? Did we all guess that that stage was Hey UT House? Oh, we're so smart. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, it is. That's actually hilarious. I had no idea. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was. Maybe it is. Is it? Just wonderful. Ah, it is. Oh no, I'm late for my meeting. Zhao. Zhao, you need to. You need to hurry up and go. Hmm. One who. What are you up to? Did you just arrive after the show was over? Ah, uh, sorry, friend, but. If you missed Yoon Jin's show, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. I don't think I will. But oh, thanks for trying to console to me. to take off the bucket list. Oh, oh, very strange. I don't usually feel anything when listening to Leo Su's stories. But once Yoon Jin started singing, I was completely spellbound. Wait, Master? Master! Where have you gone, Master? Wait, what happened? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, do you speak? No. Okay. Honey, Ari. The voice of an angel, delicate as a murmuring stream. Oh, the boss of Hei The moment Yun Jin got on the stage, it took me right back. Oh, the resemblance was. What a captivating performance. <sighs> that was okay, wonderful. just checking things to make sure they're routine. Continuing. Uh, that's the whatever happening. Don't sound too. Oh, Gentry. Oh, no. Leo Opera is really something. But Leo Opera performed by Miss Young. Now that's something else. Calm down. Performance. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Your reputation is well deserved. <laughs> well, I've had the pleasure of seeing the talented Miss Yun on stage many a time in the past, but the songs still sound fresh and new every single time. That's good. It's been barely a few days since I last saw you perform. But once again, Yun Jin. You've progressed by leaps and bounds. Oh, you're far too kind, both of you. I'm still new to the profession, but I promised myself when I joined the troupe that I would strive to develop myself as a performer every day. And I wouldn't be where I am now without everyone's faithful support. <laughs> Nonsense. You're too humble, Miss Yun. You're a major celebrity. Who in Liyue hasn't heard the name Yun Jin? Probably some people. <laughs> 
In the circles I move in, anyone who says they've never seen Yun Jin on stage is at risk of getting laughed out of business. <laughs> <sighs> As it happens, I have a business meeting at the Xinyue kiosk with a client who is also a big fan of yours. Oh no. So, <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd perhaps like to join us for the meal. Oh, uh, me too. I put the table at the Leoli Pavilion and was hoping you might join me. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to both of you, but I won't be able to make it. I'm very grateful for the invitations, but I'm afraid uh, I already have arrangements for this evening. Isn't that right, Traveler? Yep, sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> okay, you have plans, but uh, you're really gonna pass this up. I mean, you can always reschedule. What? Wait a second, you're. Am I else? Am I really so famous in the. Oh, I guess it's not going to work out today, then. Maybe another day, Miss Yoon. Seems a little pissed. Goodness. Oh, they took off pretty quick. He doesn't he know me. Yes. I, don't. I always wanted to meet someone who does not know who the traveler is. <laughs> I guess is. I'll be leaving too. Wouldn't want to cramp your style. I'm Take all care, both of you. Sorry that I can't see you off. Nothing. Oh, thanks for coming to my rescue again. <laughs> Look at you. You're a national treasure. Even Gentry Maotsai is in awe of you. Maotsai. I feel a Thank little you. sorry for Shinyue Kiosk and Liuli Pavilion. I just hope the food won't go to waste. Well, why don't we go? Ooh. What are we feeling? Shinyue Kiosk, Liuli Pavilion. You want the Li or the E? Li or the E? Shinyue. Shinyue. I don't think we'd be able to get a seat this late. But it's fine. I have a better place we can go. Mm. Let's head downstairs. I owe you a big thank you tonight. Uh, okay. Um, it's the bottom floor of Hey Yuki Oz. Miss Yoon? Oh, wow, it's really you! I, um, <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here! Oh, ditzy girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing! Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Yun, uh, don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Oh. Miss Yoon, I'm interested to know why you added a silk dance to the scene where the Divine Damsel makes her appearance. Hmm? You... you noticed that? Yes! Based on the original script, that scene would see your character perform the Adeptus Walk. But the addition of the silk dance meant that the whole way you carried yourself was so much more... so much more... Animated. Yes! Yes, but delicate and graceful, like a crane. Uh, oh, sorry, which publication are you from? How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I, well... Ah, yeah, well, we're from the Steamberg. I am Boy Yi, the editor-in-chief. We were based in Fontaine. Just recently, we made the move back to Liyue. Uh, that oh, feels I like see. a lie. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. Th that's very kind of you, but really, my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. <laughs> hey, Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here. Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her! Talk to her! Actually, oh, no. I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. Then I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. I don't know which one is better. I don't know which one to choose.
This one seems like the worst, so but I'm going for what it. What about our plans? Really? Okay. Um, I feel okay. like I'm gonna hate this. Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Yoon. Great. Thank you both kindly. Let's find a quiet place and get this interview underway. I see. So that's why you added the silk dance in this scene. Yes, exactly. Doing it this way not only allows for more physicality in my movement, it also means I can make better use of the stage and transition into the scene more quickly. Ah, okay. So there was even more to it than I thought. So, wouldn't it make sense to contrast this with the Dong Tong Appassionato section that comes directly afterward by making the latter a little more sophisticated? Hmm. I think I know which section you're talking about. Ah, sorry, sorry. What am I saying? This is a fixed formula, isn't it? My suggestion would completely break the format. No, it's okay. It's an interesting idea for sure. I'll give it some thought. Thanks for the suggestion. <gasps> really? Wow, I'm so honored. <laughs> this conversation is um, way better. Uh, Shuryun, maybe it's time to move on to some of the things our readers would like to know about, hmm? Oh, okay. Um, I was also going to ask for your opinion on the set and the costumes. <clears throat> yes. Well, I'm sure Miss Yun has countless pearls of wisdom she could share on her chosen craft. <laughs> but, uh, not all of our readers are quite so, uh, artistically literate, shall we say. A, a, a lot of them really just want to know more about you. You know, what does Yun Jin do when she is off stage? Hmm? Um. Excuse me? When I'm off stage? Uh, you know. You're a major celebrity, and a lot of our readers are interested to know what life is like for you. What kind of place you live in, what kind of things you eat, clothes you wear, things you buy. That whole side of things. A day in the life. Um, besides hmm. rehearsing, a day in my life isn't really any more interesting than anyone else's. Nonsense. Of course it is. Just think how many people were at your show earlier. They come from all over just to show their support. In fact, a relative of mine has a daughter who's been saying she wants to broaden her horizons recently. She's been looking for a chance to give you a jade hairpin as a gift. Hmm? Interesting. Um, it's against the rules of the opera troupe to accept private gifts from patrons. Hmm. Could someone out there be accepting gifts for the troupe under false pretenses? I must get Yunning to look into it. Uh, I, I mean, it, it wasn't a big deal. Just something she said. Uh, forget I brought it up. <laughs> so, I saw Gentry Maotsai and the Snezhnayan gentleman come down from upstairs. Are they patrons of your shows, too? So, what are your thoughts on Snezhnayan? Oh, YouTube? this is getting political. <sighs> Ugh, I'm sorry. This is my first interview, and my notes are becoming a total mess. I might need a moment to pause and reorganize them a little. Otherwise, I'll never be able to work all this into an article. Uh, Mr. Boy, maybe you should take a look, too. Don't be ridiculous. Stopping an interview halfway through to organize your notes? What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Miss Yun, we'll just be a moment. I think. Oh. Are you sure you want to continue, Bestie? I'm fine. It's not the first time I've been asked questions like these. The last time it happened, Yunning stopped the interview for me. But the next day, the tabloids were full of articles like Dramatic Exit, Yunjin Storms Out of Interview, and Miss Ladida Opera Star is Too Good for Our Questions. <sighs> yeah. So from then on, Yunning said all interview requests have to go through her. I used to think I could hold the troop together just by putting on a good performance. But now, I have to make sure I concentrate on my actions off stage too. Oh. Hmm. 
found your performance very moving. Oh, you mean Van Arya and that crowd? I cherish them as members of my audience, too. But there aren't many people like them who can appreciate all the nuance in a single viewing. How did Shuryun end up working with an editor like that guy? Something feels wrong there. Ugh. Huh. They could be back at any moment, so I should stay here for now. But if you find out anything, come straight back here and let me know. I'm sorry for pausing in the middle. I didn't know that that would break off. I must have left the tea house by now. Let me know if you find anything out. Of course, of course. Cruel to Miss Yoon. Shh, keep your voice down. Whatever you got to say, it can wait until we're out of Irsha. We'll both be in hot water if Yoon Jin finds out. Uh, what's wrong with you? Why can't you get it into your head? Quit asking dull questions and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do I make myself clear? I don't think you realize what a golden opportunity you have here. How many journalists would give anything they had to trade places with you right now? Huh? Ever think about that? You... you just don't get it! Miss Yun has put her heart and soul into... Enough! Stop yelling in public! Or do you want Miss Yun to hear about all the lies you're spreading about her? <gasps> Me? You're the one making everything up! Ah, huh. well, you sure seem pretty happy chatting to her, so don't act like you ain't a part of this. And don't forget the contract you signed. Ugh, come. We'll continue our little chat over there. You need to listen and learn, young lady. I... I... What's it gonna be? Huh? Who are you? Ah, the one with your genius now. So, you've been lying in ambush for us, huh? Uh, okay. Are you ready to stop whining now? Do you have any idea how rare an opportunity like this is for a small time paper like ours? Just think of the sales if we can get an exclusive. <laughs> We'd have enough to cover your salary for two lifetimes. But, but what about us pretending to be from the Steambird? Aren't you worried she'll find out? <laughs> you really think she still would have talked to you if I hadn't told that little white lie? Hmm? Besides, what have you got to be afraid of? As long as we make it sound like an eyewitness account, how will she be able to refute it? Heck, if she actually presses the issue, I'll probably have to thank her for keeping it current for me. <laughs> <gasps> this is horrible. Oh I goodness. will not let you treat Miss Yun like this. <sighs> I don't know who she thinks she is anyway. Oh, I sang a couple of shows, so now I'm a national superstar. Give me a break. No one wants to read about your sopranos or your falsettos. You probably don't we give the those readers mean. what they want. That's how this business works. Mm -hmm. I hate him. That blonde gal seemed to be getting along pretty well with Yunjin. There's definitely a story there. Oh, even if there isn't. You bitch. That's enough. I'm reporting you to the Millilith. As you should. Report me? What for? Libel? Identity theft? <laughs> Good luck with that. I haven't written anything. Where's your proof? Hmm? I... I... You better tread carefully, Missy. First, you neglect your own duties, and now you're trying to get in the way of mine? You signed the contract. You know full well the consequences. If you sabotage this interview, I will make sure you lose everything you have. I will ruin you. You understand? 
Why? Oh, why did I sign that contract? I'm um, Yunjin's gonna be pissed at me. Let's go. Who's there? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I'll spread a lovely little story about you and Yunjin throughout all of Liyue. Uh -huh. Wait a second. I was so focused on Miss Yun earlier that I didn't notice who it was. Huh? What are you talking about? She's the traveler. You know, the one who even the Chi Sing will listen to. What the? Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Some deep shit, Bastu. Uh, uh, no, no need to get all worked up here, love. What, what we what we meant was uh, no more uh, lies. Uh, 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 yes, quite right. You are quite right. I'm disappearing into thin air as we speak. <sighs> Just my luck. <laughs> I'm so so sorry. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. I heard everything. It's not your fault. But I'm so ashamed. I don't know how I could face Miss Yun now. So please, please pass on my apologies to her. So many endings I could come from this one road I've taken. I had no idea that choosing all the answers I didn't like would get me to where I am right now. Hello, Yunjin. Hi. I'm Did you find anything out? I see. Well, it's not unexpected. Mm -hmm. It's just a bit of a shame that I didn't get to talk with Shiryun for longer. She genuinely understands opera and has a passion for it. That's not something you can act. If I had the chance to talk with her more in depth, it could well provide me with some fresh inspiration. Hmm. Yoon Jean, Yoon Jean. Oh no. Did you agree to another interview without notifying me? You didn't say anything to give cause for concern. These tabloid types are total scumbags, all of them. Who knows what innocent detail he might end up turning into the next big scandal. Sure, nothing might have come of it today, but who knows where it'll go tomorrow. <sighs> Short of catching them all in their lair in one fell swoop, who knows when this is going to end. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was careless on this occasion. Well, wallowing isn't going to solve anything. Come on, go tell everyone in the troop to be extra cautious during this time. Okay. <sighs> Geo Lord bless us. Spare us any more offstage drama. <laughs> oh, sorry, you <laughs> I'm kind of a mess right now, bear with me. This is taking much longer than it should. Could have went straight from suspicious trails to a hat. Oh, so I did the more complicated way. That's a vibe.
Give me a moment. Everything's kind of going wrong, and I wasn't expecting this. So I need to fix it. So please bear with me in my chaos for a moment longer. Oh, my waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. There we go. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry for that long ass wait of me just figuring out how to work a phone. <laughs> I'm fine now. I'm going to do a quick check to make sure my stream's still going, and then I'll be right back with ya. If it doesn't hit my microphone. <laughs> oh, people are talking to me. That's unusual. <laughs> I sound so lonely. I swear I'm not that lonely. <laughs> okay, it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's good. Oh no. Okay, sorry. I was I figuring out. Sorry for that long wait of me today. figuring out how to and work a phone. I'm away. back and I'm vibing and everything's okay. Join the adventurers guild. Are you ready to stop whining now? Do you have just I'm just gonna think we've already seen. <laughs> You as long as we <gasps> this is <clears throat> no one wants to case in point. Ugh, that's in report me. I you better tread carefully, Missy. You signed the contract. <sighs> <clears throat> well, think very carefully about what you're going to do. This is a rare opportunity. Now I need to think how to phrase these interview questions. Hmm. You uh, hey, wait! Huh? Who are you? So, you've been. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. That was the first time in a while I failed a hangout event. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Long term planning. Because we're so smart. Did you find anything out? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's you. I see. I knew there was something fishy about that editor in chief. But this is a bigger plot twist than I expected. Not yet. All he's done so far is ask a few questions. There's nothing in print yet. The Millilith wouldn't be able to do anything even if we got them involved. Besides, if we rush to report him now, it's only going to give him more material to write about. 
first time they've done You're that. right. But tabloids like theirs never have permanent offices and printing presses. Oh. The moment they hear anything, they'll yep. disappear without a trace. You've got no chance of catching them. I'm actually more concerned about another detail you told me. What? Would you be willing to do me another favor? I want to send a letter to that journalist. Sure. Leave it to me. Great. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the editor should be here soon, so I'll stay here to deal with him. I'll have to rely on you to deliver the letter. If everything goes well, we should be able to get some breathing room for a while. I need to talk to Yunjin first. Thanks for your help. I'll try to keep him occupied and buy us more time. I need all the story information I can get. I love the story of this game. It's so pretty. I am, as someone once said, a lore whore. <laughs> said in my chat by people who are much funnier than I am. <laughs> I've had it with you. Do you think contracts are just bits of paper? If we weren't on a tight deadline, you'd better believe I'd fire you right here on the spot. You will stay here and reflect on your actions if you know what's good for you. Sorry, but I'm not babysitting you anymore today. Oh, what am I going to do? You're... You're the baddest the bitch. one who was with Miss Yun earlier. You didn't oh, wrote this letter for really? you. Miss Yun wrote me a letter. Oh, I'll read it right away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Really? I can't believe this. Miss Yun says that under Liyue law, any penalty charge I have to pay may not substantially exceed the amount of my salary. You can't have a labor contract that would completely bankrupt the employee in the event of a breach. It's not legally binding. So not only can he not get any money off of me, I can take this contract to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and blow the whistle on him. <laughs> I didn't think about any of this when I was job hunting. I just signed the contract without a second thought. I always thought Ms. Yun was all about opera. Who would have thought she was such a legal expert too? This is quite the solution she came up with. <sighs> if only I hadn't gone out of my way to get Miss Yun's attention in the first place, none of this would have happened. I didn't expect it to end up with Miss Yun helping fix my life problems. Can you lead me to their base of operations? Well, Mr. Boyi says I'm still on probation, so he won't tell me where their work location is. Plus, I give all my draft articles straight to him. So I don't have anything in the way of evidence. I <laughs> wouldn't put it past him. Yep. But the letter says that my statement and the contract are enough to get the Millilith looking into it. If Miss Yun says so, I'm sure she must be right. Let's go confront him right now. I wouldn't suggest that. That and confronting someone directly might end in bad things. I feel like we should just tell the Millilith right away instead. Uh, Take your true form. <laughs> okay, I think I've covered this topic pretty thoroughly now. Unless you had any more questions? <laughs> well, well, what can I say, Miss Yun? You have so many wonderful qualities. Let's not quit while the ball's rolling, huh? Otherwise, I'll think of something I didn't ask later, and by then, it'll be too late. So, um, hey, where's that, uh, friend of yours who was here earlier? You guys seemed, uh, pretty close. Not intentionally avoiding the interview, Shirley. <laughs> You're finally back. This poor gentleman's been waiting for you. <laughs> you you're with Shuryun? Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Shuryun, don't forget the contract you signed. 
funny. That contract's just what we came to discuss. The traveler clued me in. This contract you made me sign, it isn't worth the paper it's written on. Isn't worth the paper it's written on? Don't be ridiculous. It's all there, clear as day. Don't you think I did my research? Research? Oh, so you're a news editor. But you also have an interest in law? Uh, yeah, she, she, she's new, and she's making a fool of herself. She doesn't get how this all works. My apologies. Now, uh, back to our interview? No, it's okay. In fact, I found myself delving into some legal texts recently. It's all so intricate and complicated that it's very difficult to take it all in. The contracts of our Aqua Troop are a case in point. I'd finally finished reading through the relevant documentation from the Yuehai Pavilion, when suddenly, the Qixing announced a new interpretation. So I'm just curious. How can you be completely sure that you didn't miss anything when you were researching this? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read everything relevant. Under current legislation, the penalty terms in my labor contract are unreasonable and exploitative. I could report you to the Millilith for extortion! Nonsense! Th th that's ridiculous! My goodness. Sir, it seems that we should probably bring this interview to a close here. D d don't listen to her! I run a legitimate business. Everything we do is above board. Oh, I have no doubt about that at all, sir. But this reminds me of a case I read about not long ago. Once you get reported and the Millilith start scrutinizing your business, well, not only do they look into every license you have and every work you've ever published, but everything down to your fire safety policy will come under their magnifying glass as well. So if you don't get back now and start preparing for their arrival... Well, I mean, I don't mind continuing the interview at all. But I'd hate to take up too much of your precious time if there's any aspect of your business you want to double check from a legal standpoint. Of course. Oh, you? I won't forget this! <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Yes! A win! Why did you stop me? Are we really going to let him go? Right! And the contract I have is enough to get him arrested, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not a legal expert. I haven't the faintest idea. All that was just an act, aimed at getting him to show us the way. An act? D show us the way to what? Eugene, the Millilith are after him. Based on his movements, it looks like Boyi is heading back to his headquarters. <sighs> I really hope they teach these tabloids a lesson they won't forget. It'd sure make my life a lot easier. Oh, I see what's going on. Yes. I had Yunning report to the Millilith while you were delivering the letter for me. The penalty terms in Shuryun's contract are too severe. Even if they don't violate the law, I'm sure he must be taking advantage of some loopholes. Anyone who works like that is sure to have a guilty conscience. So all I had to do was put on a little show, starring the editor-in-chief of the Steambird. And now, he is sure to lead us to the solid evidence. I can't believe you even kept us in the dark. <laughs> well, acting has to be authentic <laughs> to be believable. Of course. Their little publication will go out of business in no time. <laughs> Good riddance, I say. I hope this gets the other tabloids to rein in their antics, too. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe we could get him to rat on some of his rival publications. Ah, I only just realized what this means. I'm... I'm going to be out of a job, aren't I? Hmm... Well, would you still be interested in submitting an article to the Steambird? But the real one this time? Well, yes! Of course! But uh, would they really accept an article from me? Yunning, when can we arrange the next interview for? Oh, so now you're asking me. <laughs> Two days from now, morning. Work for you? Okay. Sure, you. Let's continue our discussion about tonight's play two days from now. Does this mean I get to do a full feature interview with you? Okay. I think I know what I want to write about. Thank you, Miss Yun. 
Don't mention it. I'm sure it will be a source of inspiration for both of us. Oh, this is so fun! Good endings. I love good endings. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting to get so many good endings out of this one thing. <laughs> hmm. Song that knows grace. Okay. Okay, and the next one would be Guess from the Steambird. Yun? Oh wow! Hey, Get. We have. The, we've already been through this part. Miss Yun. Hmm? You? Yes. A bit animated. Yes. Yes, but delicate and graceful like a crane. Uh, oh, sorry. Which publication are you from? How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I, well. Ah, yeah, well, we're from the Steambird. I am, we were based in Fontaine. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. Th that's very kind of- Hey! Miss Eunice throw you actually I'm afraid that Play it safe and book the interview in with your manager. <sighs> yes, you're right. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid the troop is pretty strict about the rules for this kind of thing. So we'll have to do this one by the book. Please liaise with my manager and we can do this interview another day. The Steambird is a highly reputable publication, so I'm sure my manager won't give you a hard time. Once the interview is arranged, I'll be very happy to answer any and all questions you have. But... <sighs> Fair enough. Sorry if we're being intrusive. Please forgive us. We'll leave you in peace. Hey, come on, quit dawdling! Yes, I I'm coming. Bye, Miss Yun! Bye. Hey, wait! That's the wrong way if you wanted to talk to my manager. And they're gone. Oh well, never mind. Guess I have not a friend happening. who works for a paper. I'll ask them later. For now, though, <laughs> the top priority is making good on our plans. Now that I think about it, I've turned down three social engagements tonight. <sighs> Come with me. Our plan is the only one remaining, so let's make the most of it. Of course. Isn't it meant to be nighttime? I'm gonna assume it's meant to be nighttime by the fact that we were supposed to meet Yunjin for this one before in the middle of the night. Maybe it was starting, maybe it was supposed to like break on the cusp of day, but like I don't think so. So we're gonna make it nighttime to go with the atmosphere that the thing set up before in the past quest. You do know the cleverest ship. He he rock. Kinda found a good place to sit. I need to make sure I'm sitting. <sighs> I can smell the fragrance of food in the air. Yes, Cherhu Rock is definitely the place to go after a performance. <laughs> Are you taking me to the third round knockout? Oh, so you're a regular in Cheerhu Rock too, huh? Cheerhu. Third round knockout has a great view. It's the perfect place to drink some tea and listen to a good story. It's also a favorite of one of my most faithful audience members. <laughs> but at the same time, it's lacking a little pizzazz. Hey, have you been to Chen the Sharp's place before? His grilled tigerfish is the best around. 
third round knockout and That's one cool. min restaurant are both great restaurants. But when it comes to barbecue, this is the place to go. Enjoying some nice food and drink, sitting by the hot coals and the cool breeze? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the stream is still going, then I'll be right back with you. Am I audible? Hmm. I'm audible! Woo! Okay. We continue. Hello, friend. Oh, that could just be me. I think that's just me hopping on my own stream. That's the second person. But who's the first? That means there's someone else watching. Hello. <laughs> and the shop. Hello, good sir. Daggerfish! Grilled tigerfish, hot off the grill. Oh, hey there. Is this a Miss Yoon which I see before me? It's been a while. What'll it be? The usual? Yes, please. I'm out with my friend today. Let's start with a plate of stir-fried meat and a handful of skewers. And, of course, <laughs> some grilled tigerfish. <laughs> Two, please. One with just a hint of chili. And the a other hint. one... Uh... Uh, hmm. Same as yours. Got it. Your grilled tigerfish will be ready soon. Do you want any drinks with that? You serve drinks yeah, here? I don't advertise it though, because it's just something I'm experimenting around with for fun. Miss Yun likes a drink with her barbecue, so I ended up getting her to try them out for me. So, would you two like some tea or. Hmm. Anything new? Well, I managed to <laughs> scrounge some all? milk from Dongsheng next door. A merchant from Mondstadt told me a while back that there's this popular drink doing the rounds there called a uh, milk tea. Boba? <laughs> I tried my hand at making it too, but the response has been uh, kind of lukewarm. Still way off being ready to add to my menu. Tea with milk? Sorry, milk tea? It might not be the best thing for my throat, but if I'm just having a little taste, I mean, I think it should be fine. Oh, but what about you? Anything you want to drink? Milk tea. Milk. I want the milk tea. Okay, I'm let's get try yours it. in first. And then, um, I'll have one of each if that's all right. I'd like to try them all. Okie dokie. Uh, and here's your tiger fish, fresh off the grill. <laughs> Come on, let's enjoy it while it's still hot. Piping hot barbecue and a nice cool drink is the best sensation. I'm sorry if I got anything wrong when talking about milk tea and boba. I just hear milk tea a lot in that relation to boba, so I just relate them. I don't know if they're related at all. I really don't know anything. I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> Continuing. Shame about these drinks, though. I only had a little sip of each one, so there's a lot left over. Well, I mean, I could just drink them, but they're a little bland for me. Nothing that special. I guess he must have toned down the flavors to make them palatable for a wider range of customers. We could just <laughs> add some flavor back in? In fact, do you know the hot pot game? No way. Let's play the hot pot game with the leftover drinks. Oh no. I'll add some extra ingredients based on my tastes, then you try to guess what I added. Sound good? <laughs> It's Toma all over again. <laughs> Don't worry. After mixing in the new ingredients, I'll also drink half. So I won't add any weird stuff. Hmm. Ah, we don't need to worry about every last detail. Come on, hmm. I'll go grab some ingredients from the shop next door. Once you've psyched yourself up, come and join me. Where's your gin? Welcome to 
I'm gonna go get some food first and then I go pay. Oh, that's a very proper way of standing. I've never seen that standing pose with anyone. It's really pretty. Time to cook. Chicken mushroom skewer, or should I make some sweet madame? I'm gonna make this. I have so many sweet flowers. <laughs> Look at all of that tinny burn. I need to make this because it's good chinks, even if I can only make one. Come on, kitchen special dish. No, we didn't make the special one. Ow. Sorry, one moment. Sorry, I was scared I might have cut myself was by accident. I don't know if I need to specify that, but maybe I need to on Twitch. Who knows? On accident, because there's like a bunch of like stuff that you could accidentally need yourself with in the world. So <laughs> trying to make sure I was okay. Anyone who has a special dish? No. I don't have Kokomi yet. I would love to get Kokomi on a rerun. That'd be great. So if she's rerun with Yai, I'm gonna scream. Hey, Yunjin Time. Double Yunjin for the free ring show. Like satisfaction guaranteed. You know, so much taller than her. <laughs> Look at the height difference. It's crazy. Okay. Traveler time. Okay. Get ready. Oh, and no peeking. Avoid her. It's gates. ready. Let me try it first. <laughs> hmm. Pretty good. Your turn. Okay. Sweet and sour. Ice, sweet, sour, fruity. Fruity! <laughs> Sorry. Extra fruity. Viscosity. Huh? Oh, just besides, it's nothing that unusual. I think it tastes okay, doesn't it? <laughs> so, did you work out what ingredients I added? Icy, sweet, sour, and viscosity, so slime condensate, is confirmed. It's sour, so... Is mint sweet or sour? I don't know. I don't like... Mm, I feel like jam would be sour, but maybe it's sweet? You guessed them all correctly. 
You yes. seem to have a well developed palette. We can try we some more it. combinations next time. Hmm. I wonder what kind of new flavors I could create with some more traditional teas, like pine nectar or snow blossom. I can't wait to try it out. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. What you would be like off stage. Huh. Well, people do often say that getting deep into a character is about identifying the part of you that is similar to them and bringing that into the performance. Of course. So in that sense, I can't say it's incorrect to conflate an actor and the characters they play on some level. But there are many more sides of me than the few you see on stage. So ultimately, yes, I am not the same person on stage as I am off stage. Of course. Sometimes, when I get letters from people, I can tell from the way they write that they see me as someone cold and aloof. I can write back, but I have to be very careful about what I say. Likewise, when I get invited along to banquets and so on, I have to make sure to keep myself calm and composed the whole night. Oh, that seems like a lot of work. Keeping your offstage personality separately from you. Ooh, should I flirt with you? Yes! Um, I bought you one drink, okay? That's not a license for you to start saying weird stuff like that. That's not weird! Well, never mind. You seem How like is you it being weird sincere. to compliment someone I'll and say that their personality is cute? Do you guys not compliment your friends like that? How? Compliment your friends, please. Compliment people. In general all I was trying nice. to say is that everyone has many different sides to their personality and if you get fixated on just one of those there's so much you'll never discover about a person I mean if we hadn't had the chance to hang out and chat like this tonight there are things about you I might never have gotten to see like the mighty and distinguished traveler diligently reviewing my hot pot drinks <laughs> assumed you were serious <laughs> I'm not gonna be a bitch. You no. Serious? <laughs> on stage, I guess. But off stage? Just think of me as another one of your friends. Just one who happens to have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> so, friend, what shall we do next? Something to remember today by? Let's get a photo! Get a photo? It's the riding quest all over you again. Mean capture this happy moment for posterity so we can look back on it later? Sounds good. Let's have the food stall in the background. Hmm. Now, how should I pose? I feel like the light could be at a better angle. being very particular and I probably shouldn't be but I want a really good picture imagine this is real time and she was just standing there the whole time just like when are you gonna take it that's good that's good okay 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 That was a good picture. Mm -hmm. It like looks it. good. I hope whenever you look at this photo in the future, it will remind you of the good time we had today. So, goodbye for now. Oh, hold on. How is one photo going to be enough? We'll both need one if we want something to remember each other by. 
you Let take this one, it. and I'll take another photo of you. But could you find another location for us? I'm thinking somewhere around Feiyun Slope with a good view. I'll join you in a moment. I have something to prepare here first. What? Okay, um. Let's go, I suppose. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. I wasn't I wasn't waiting long at all. <sighs> the view here is great. The lights, the buildings, it's the ideal spot. I could see you chose it carefully. <laughs> mm, yes, this angle is perfect. Okay, strike a pose and close your eyes. Close my eyes for a photo. Yes, please. Quickly now. Okay. Get ready. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Put her together. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my goodness, she set up a photo stand and just jumped. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh, I love it. I need it. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs> How dare <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Can any other ones be made? Oh! Oh, another one comes straight from this one. I don't know what it could be. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use Shen Hall for this, even though I don't like her C6, I can't. I can't deny that it can be useful in travel sometimes. <laughs> Oh, do I have to guess wrong? <laughs> we can try some more combinations next time. <laughs> I wonder what kind of new flavors I could create with some... I can't wait to try it out. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Huh. Hmm. Well, people do often say that getting deep into a character is about identifying the part of you that is similar to them and bringing that into the performance. Mm -hmm. So in that sense... I can't say it's incorrect to con- But there are many more sides. Sometimes, when I, I can write back. Hmm. You think so? So you prefer the way I am on no! stage No! Why did I get the best ending before I got one of the bad endings? It's fair enough. After all, every detail of- And I've worked hard to try and cultivate an image that appeals to everyone. Regardless of age or gender, mm -hmm. but if I can't lighten up and joke around, even with my closest friends, when I'm, I'm sorry, stage, that's I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Talking about this is just going to kill the mood. Tonight was about me showing my gratitude to you. So, did you have a good time? Like something to remember the evening by? A souvenir, perhaps? Anything you can think of? <sighs> oh, I don't like it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay. Here you go. Well, people ask me for autographs all the time. Usually what they want is a signed picture of me on... Yunning suggested that I keep a bunch of them on hand at all... Ah, yes! That one is a picture for... <laughs> I have one just like it on my wall at home. Hey, are you guys talking about Miss Yun's auto... <laughs> I have one in the store too. Well, what do you think? I'm sorry! I don't want to save that one. <laughs> I hated that. Look. 
Why did I have to get what I'm probably gonna consider the best ending of the entire hangout event? Before I got what I consider the worst. Why couldn't I get the worst before the best? Oh, I should have tried to... Okay. Next time, I'm going to try my best to get the bad ones before I get the good ones so that we can end off the hangout event on a good note. But now I feel bad. I'm sorry, Eugene. I liked the other one better when you were really sweet and happy. And you gave a hug. I didn't like the sad one. I just want all the endings because I'm out of primo gems so I can get a... So I can get you constellations. I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel bad. Can you put a few more adventurers on the case? Please have faith in her. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin. Uh, no. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out. Exp you have to take better. <laughs> we're just lucky. Well, while I'm off stage, as long as you know you. So, what? I'm glad you agree. Mm -hmm. Right. Then let's get preparing. Hey, hey, traveler, get over here. Uh -uh. I don't want to. You've only just managed to bring Yunjin back. Now you're taking her straight back out again? What's the big idea? The next show is just days away. Please, if not for me, then for the sake of the opera troupe, I'm begging you. Help me convince her that at the end of the day, she's got to fall in line. <sighs> well, okay, maybe that's asking the impossible. But at least try and keep her distracted. Please, just keep her occupied until the next show. No more thrill-seeking. What about what all the thrill-seeking? If it doesn't involve me, I think I'm going to... Uh, 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 <laughs> you know what? It does involve you, actually. The Traveler was saying uh, that... Uh, Come on, help me stop. Oh? Well, what do you need from me? Hmm? You want to become an actor? Uh, you do? Oh, <clears throat> yes, of course she does. She was just telling me that she's interested in exploring her. You know, you could just put and, that, um, sweetie. Would like you to give her some coaching. <laughs> right, good. Well, let's not beat around the. H uh, hold on. I don't know if I'm really ready to take on students yet. Oh, please. This is the day you dreamed of, isn't it? You certainly talk about it enough. And look, now she's here, ready and willing. <clears throat> okay, okay, I get it. You can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> I am delighted that you wish to study the performing arts from me. But the issue is, before you could become my apprentice, I'd have to get approval from the founders that do an initiation ceremony. There just isn't time for all that right now. So, for now, I'll just teach you a few basics. Informally, one friend to another. There's no need to call me master. What about um, teacher? What? Don't you think that's a bit old-fashioned? Let's work on that later. Okay. Until we settle on an appropriate title, just call me by my name. Let's meet tomorrow morning on the bridge by the sea at Peyun Slope. I'll do my best okay. to prepare a good first lesson for you. Whew, what a relief. You are very welcome. Six to eight the next morning, so that means like... Why is it so slow? Continuing! This is gonna be so much fun! You're right on time. Punctuality is an essential quality if you want to make it big in the acting world. 
Without it, you won't be able to keep on top of all the work you need to do each day. So, where should well, we start? First, I'd like you to answer me one question. Of course. How many pigeons flew from the bridge when you were passing through? I think it was five. There it is. Close. It was seven. Fuck. Uh, anyway, the point of this question was to test your powers of observation. Kind of high instinct. Eyes are the medium for the transfer of emotion. You must train your eyes to be bright, active, and strong. Watching the birds fly, hover around, and come into land will not only exercise your eyesight, but also cultivate attentiveness. That Indeed, is smart. My own daily training routine starts right here. I watch the pigeons to train my eyes, and I sing to the tide to train my voice. So the next I need to train my voice? All in good time. Grasping all the techniques involved in opera singing and posture is not an overnight process. Let's start from the very beginning, with some general theories to help you better understand the concept of performance. General Of theory. course! I am in written correspondence with performers from many nations in Tevat, which has rather broadened my perspective on this topic. For example, hmm, let's start with something simple. Of How course. would you perform yourself? Try to relive the events of that day when you were battling against an ancient god and fighting off the Fatui. What can you see? What did you feel? Hmm. Now, I want you to look out at the ocean in front of you and recall the raging waves and the atmosphere of peril from that day. Take a deep breath. Now, gradually, embrace the scene, immerse yourself in it, and let all the emotions back in. Good, good. So that's how you felt. Next, I'd like you to focus on the goal you wanted to achieve at that time. Good, yes. Use that. Okay, good. Now, all of this overwhelming emotion is welling up inside of you, and I want you to let it all out. All at once. Go. Stop. Wrong. This is all wrong. There's no emotion, no soul. Granted, the character you are trying to portray is your own self, but your performance didn't do the scene justice at all. I couldn't hear you fighting for your life while gargantuan waves were crashing all around you. What I heard was the sound of someone doing vocal exercises by the beach on a calm day. When they, we, are, we are by the beach and it is a calm day. Here's the thing. When you're acting, it's not only about getting into character, you also have to recreate the scene in your mind as vividly as you can. <laughs> now, I appreciate that you did actually experience this particular scene for yourself, but maybe conjuring up specific details of your surroundings at the time is a little too advanced for novices. Hmm, you're right. If we were looking for an environment to help evoke the emotions you felt at the time, Are we going on the I chamber? suppose we could try again. A little farther afield, at Guyun Stone Forest. Hmm. Oh? Too far away? Hmm. Don't worry, I was just thinking aloud. Besides, even at Guyun Stone Forest, we'd still have trouble recreating the state of the sea that day. Let's mm -hmm. try something else. Come with me to the suburbs just north of Li Yue Harbor. If you've got no objections, okay. let's head off. Yes. Woo. Okay, fun times. We're gonna be what's gonna be best to you, Bjorn. Let's go. Where is it? 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 Suddenly, I just got a surge of energy and started saying shit. No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I am fine. I swear on my life, I'm fine. Yunjin is so cool. Trying to think of what's a good topic to talk about. Have you ever wanted to just randomly learn an instrument? Like, you don't know how to start learning, you just want to learn it eventually. 
I want to do that with like so many instruments and just so many things in general. I love learning about certain new things and then hey learning about others like i can't the battle you fought on the jade chamber was a very strange set of circumstances hmm. even for someone like you it's quite normal that you can't get into character just like that hmm. i know it's hard to recreate every facet of the experience in your mind but what you could try is to replace the foes you faced in that scenario with ones you are much more familiar with what do you mean i'll give place? you an example Let's say you're performing a scene where your character experiences the grief and pain of a death. But you yourself have never experienced this kind of tragic loss before. Well, you can replace death with another, more familiar scenario that evokes a similar sense of grief and pain for you. Such as... Mm, you bust a gut trying to find a treasure chest, only to finally reach it and find it filled with cabbages and radishes. This seems way too over the top. I don't want to press. I don't want to. I don't want to agree, but I'm going ah, to. Ah, now you're catching on. Action scenes work <sighs> the same way. Perhaps the experience of facing an ancient god is a challenge to recreate. But if you're replaying the kind of actions you perform every day, you just need to let go, and your mm. subconscious will guide you through. Come. Show me how you normally fight. You can start with monsters nearby. Of course. Uh, uh, okay. They're coming. Just do what you normally do in this situation. Yes, it will. You can only see grass. Shit, that's not good. There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Did I hit anything? Flag fly! My will embodied! Transfiguration! Do your master's bidding! Uh, let the show begin! Ha! Flag fly! And step! Strike is one! Adventurer. I am a real Let's adventurer. Let's perform the scene again now, while the battle is still fresh in your mind. Okay. Look at those red-clad scarecrows. But I want you to see them instead as those Fatui who brandish the sacrificial knives. Now, let us reenact the battle on the Jade Chamber. It's okay if you can't recall the events clearly. You can just replace them with the movements you are most familiar with. And... Attack! <clears throat> the three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballistas. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work.
cut it out. Can't fault your movements in terms of technique. <laughs> I'm doing great. But Fatui are larger than most monsters. I don't think it was a conscious decision, but you were aiming a little too low, and you also didn't strike with enough force. Overall, it was just lacking that sense of being in the heat of the battle. Uh, that's not good. Veteran practitioners of this acting method are able to adjust and embellish their real life experience enough so that it makes an adequate substitute for the scene they are trying to portray. But adjusting mm -hmm. deep rooted habits to adapt them for the stage, that's no easy task. Yeah, it doesn't sound easy. But still, this was only your first time trying this method. And all things considered, I think you've done quite well. <laughs> Thank you. But judging from your movements, I think this next method might suit you a little better. Choreograph mm -hmm. every aspect of your onstage performance in advance. Every movement, every facial expression, even your emotions, and rehearse it thoroughly. You can reference <laughs> existing characters from opera or imitate similar people from your own life. In short, you want to pin down every detail of the character you want to portray in your mind, and then work through them methodically and find ways to bring them out. Well, in your case, what you need to do is imitate your past self. Think of yourself not as you, but as somebody outside this world controlling your every move. That's even harder to understand. <laughs> it's complicated to explain, but once you give it a try, I think you'll get the hang of it. Think. Okay. How about we start by setting a simple scenario? The Fatui in red want to attack the Guizhong Ballista, and the heavyweight guards in blue want to try and stop you. What you want okay. to do is evade all the blues and go straight for the reds. Got it. Evade blue, straight for red. Yes, I think that sums it up. There's of an course. open area to the north. I'll set up a stage for you. Thank you. When you've finished rehearsing everything in your mind, come and find me. Got it. I'm going to quickly check to make sure the stream is still going, then I'll be right back with you. Oh, that's a sharp noise. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? You doing good? How's the audio sounding? Uh, it's decent. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long to check. I just need to make sure everything was doing okay. Uh. Only two hours. Uh. Wow. Uh. Hello, Yunjin. Well, have you finished rehearsing? I'm ready, I think. No need to rush. Take your time. So I'll avoid the blues, go straight to the red. My voice. Avoid the blues, straight to red. Avoid the blues, straight to red.
I needed to hear the whole thing. Now that was a little better. You managed to bring out more of that fearless hero quality that time. <laughs> My hard work coaching you has finally paid off. This method might not sound as sophisticated and exciting as the first two, but it's the most popular choice for teaching beginners. Rigorous rehearsal and vocal training is at the core of this school of thought. It even works on those whose performance lacks emotional depth at first. As long mm -hmm. as you practice diligently, with time, you will achieve mastery one way or another. Either your finely honed skills become a good substitute for innate talent, or the process of honing your skills cultivates genuine talent within you. <laughs> People say that when you truly master the art of singing, even the birds and beasts will be drawn to your song. <laughs> That's amazing. I, know. I guess I still have a long road ahead of me when it comes to developing as a performer. One thing, since this is the standard beginner's method. Well, because even if I had, you wouldn't have put your heart into it. It's been written on your face this whole time. <clears throat> Just try and keep her occupied until the next show. I thought I was doing a good job of hiding it. <laughs> Don't forget that acting is my bread and butter. Did you really think I wouldn't be able to see through it? Still, this is a rare opportunity, and I hope you have at least learned something from it about the beauty of the performing arts. The operatic tradition carries countless historical memories within it. As long as the art is kept alive, the voices and faces of bygone heroes can be recreated on the stage for generation after generation. Mm -hmm. I hope that your voice and your face will make their mark on Li Yue Opera too. Yes, as well as coaching you today, I have also been closely observing every move you make. Do you <laughs> remember the basics of the final method? Don't you think there's a striking similarity between you, who stood up for Li Yue and fought off a god of old, and the divine damsel in the play? <laughs> With you as a reference in mind, I'm sure I can finally make a breakthrough in creating my own adaptation of this character. So why was your first method to go and put yourself because in Because as danger? far as I'm concerned, the immersion method, drawing on life experiences, and imitating others are all valuable acting methods. Even if my every movement is rehearsed to perfection, I can't move the audience without conveying emotion. And of even course. if I fully master the character's emotions, a little choreography will help make the performance more polished and appealing. Whatever the method is, as long as it offers something that can improve my performance, I will always give it a try. Thank you for trying them out as well. It means a lot to me. And congratulations on making it to the end of your first acting class. When's my graduation ceremony? Graduation ceremony? <laughs> I'm afraid that's still a long way in the future. For Aww. now, I hope to incorporate part of you into my performance of the Divine Damsel. But one day, I hope to write an opera all about you. When that day <laughs> comes, I hope you will be able to join me on stage and give me some constructive criticism. It'll take a lot of hard work to reach the point where you're ready to go on stage. But I'll be here to keep you on track every step of the way. So the strict teacher. Oh, here we go again. So old fashioned. Then again, I suppose I will have to give you a lot of instruction along the way. <laughs> and if I won't let you call me master, teacher, or coach, I've got to think of something you can call me. Ah, I've got it. You can call me Mentor. What do you think? That works. Contemplate the play's meaning. Oh, that's so nice. Now I have a lot of achievements to do. No, we need to take a photo. An additional twenty percent of the finish is. Yes. Um, all of that. How am I pretty much just looking? Incredible. 
quite a bit. <sighs> well then, that's going to end it for the day. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I thought I would be streaming for a lot longer, but I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I enjoyed streaming today, and I hope you have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.